Good morning. We will pay attention to dishonored checks and the discount that must be cancelled on a dishonored check. Mama Lordy Traders issued a receipt for 570 on the 2nd of May in settlement of account of 600. The debtor's balance was 600. He paid 570, so the debtor was reduced on the credit side with 570, and the bank was increased on the debit side with 570. This was in settlement of an account of 600, so the debtors was credited with a 30 rand, so that both sides have the same amount because the account was settled in full. And you will debit discount allowed with 30 rand to increase the expense. On 21 May, the check was received back from the bank as a dishonored check due to insufficient funds. Therefore, the debtor must now owe this full amount of 570 plus the 30 rand discount that we credited his account when he paid. So we will debit the debtor's control with the full 600. We will show that we don't have the money in the bank anymore, so I will credit the bank to complete the one double entry. We will not allow discount if the person's account check didn't go through the bank, so we will also cancel the discount on the credit side. The bank account is debited to increase the asset when we receive the money. Debtors is credited to decrease the asset, and a receipt was issued as proof of payment. Discount allowed expense was debited to decrease profits that will decrease equity. Debtors control account is credited to decrease the asset because they don't owe the money anymore. On the day that the check is dishonored, the debtors control account will be debited and the bank account will be credited so that the debtors owe us the 570 again increasing assets you don't have the money in the bank anymore so you decrease assets with 570. the source document will be the dishonored check when you receive the money you recorded it in the cash receipts journal if the check is dishonored you will record it in the cash payments journal you will also have to cancel the discount, so debtors control will be debited so that the assets increase with the 30 rand that they owe. Discount allowed expense is now decreased because we don't allow the discount anymore, so that means it will increase my profits. A dishonored check must be cancelled, debiting the debtors with the amount on the check and the discount allowed when you receive the check from them. So you will increase their account with the full amount that they owed before you receive the check. Discount allowed must be cancelled on the credit side of the discount allowed account to decrease the expense.